What would the world be like without reading glasses? Learn who invented them, when they were introduced, and how they impacted the world. In this episode of, The History of Optometry and The Origin of Eyeglasses. In 1263, Roger Bacon, an English scholar and philosopher, was the first person to document how lenses could be used as an effective vision correction tool. However, according to the University of Texas, it wasn't until approximately 1286 that Bacon's idea was fully realized. The first use of spectacles was observed in the late 13th century by Friar Giordano da Pisa, after meeting a craftsman living near Pisa, Italy. After recounting his story, a friend of Giordano, named Friar Alessandro della Spina, spent time learning how to replicate these spectacles and shared his knowledge with the public. Arguably, this feat of engineering helped inspire a new industry. By the early 14th century spectacles, or reading glasses, were being manufactured and sold in Venice. By the 15th century, Florence, Italy was producing some of the highest quality spectacles of the day and exporting them throughout Europe. By simply using two convex glass discs, enclosed in leather or metal rims, with handles riveted at the center, gave birth to some of the earliest glasses. Although these spectacles were not as ergonomic as their modern-day counterparts, they did provide some versatility, allowing the user to either clamp them to their noses or to simply hold them before their eyes. Although the style and practicality of these ancient spectacles may seem quite antiquated compared to today's more contemporary eyewear, they shared the same basic functionality and purpose. For that reason, it is clear to see how these early inventions played a vital role in the field of optometry. To learn more about the history of optometry subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our next episode will be on Johannes Kepler and his contribution to optometry. Thank you.